Well, welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls to the second day of our December show here at the CPTC Raceplex. We're gonna start the day off for FXR and race number one in the Junior 1F500 class for ages 10 to 13. This is their final. Three laps is the distance. We'd like to welcome Cool Down Racing Video Productions once again for those of you tuned in on the internet. Total of 41 races on the schedule here today. There were 40 yesterday and 41 today. First race, Junior 1F500 class. The 434 is out of Lancaster, Minnesota on a GPR chassis. This is Miranda Peterson. And Miranda's competitor, the 23, is Dylan Fox on the outside. Dylan is from Balmoral, Manitoba on a 2001 Polaris. So Miranda Peterson on the 434, the 23 Dylan Fox, Getting ready to do battle. This one will be three laps. Junior 1F500 final, and Peterson is gone. Attention to the pit area. Next race up, Pro Champ 440, round one, heat one. Then race three, another Pro Champ heat. Race four, Sport Formula 500s, as is race number five, the Sport Formula 500 class. Race six, Ice Bike Open. Race seven, Relic Mod, SS Single, Fan Cooled, and Free Air Final. And race eight before intermission is the IFS 440X class. So if you are in those classes, you'll want to think about heading on over to the staging area. Today's racing brought to you by FXR, Moosehead, Twisted T, MacDon, and the Howland Hotel. We've got a run on the back straightaway into turn number three. Side by side over there, and they'll be around to take the white flag. That is Miranda Peterson on the 434. The 23 is Dylan Fox from Balmoral. Real good race here. About well, three or four or five lengths separating these two competitors as they head into turn number three on the final lap. Riley is our head flagman down on the front straightaway. He has the checkered flag in his hands and it's waving. It's going to the 434 of Miranda Peterson from Lancaster, Minnesota on the 1989 GPR4 chassis. All right, next up, race number two on your schedule. Pro Champ 440, round one, heat number one for five laps. Riding the number 10 out of Lodi, Wisconsin is Stephen Mankey. That is a 2019 Skidoo. The 88 is Brennan Boxall from Warman, Saskatchewan on a wall chassis. Riding number one out of Hartford, Wisconsin, a 2019 Articat. This is Griffin Leepak. The 102 out of Hutchinson, Minnesota, picking up the feature last night. The 102 is Blaine Stevenson. He is sponsored by Wall Brothers Racing, Jimmy Johns, and FXR. The 7NY is Nick Lagoy. was not here last year, but returns here for our December race. Nick Lagoy is out of Morrisonville, New York, on a 2020 Articat. He has raced 13 years on Skidoo and has changed over to Articat, a 2020 Articat for Nick Lagoy. And rounding out the field in his 25th and final year of racing, he started when he was four on Kitty Cats. Out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin, the Amsoil Polaris, the 13 is Nick Van Strybach, two-time Eagle River champion, two-time CPTC champion, on the outside on that good-looking FXR number 13. Here we go, great start for Blaine Stevenson. Lots of snow dust in turns number one and two as the pro champs head on down the racetrack. Good field here today in Bozizier for our second and final day for our December event anyway. We're back here in March, March 7th and 8th for the official Canadian Power Toboggan Championships. Nick Lagoy at the back of the pack. 159 kilometers per hour. Nick Lagoy, the wild child, 
in 2018, finished fourth overall in the TLR Cup points. That rider is considering running the all new F3 class. You'll see those today. They ran for the first time ever here in Beaux-Azur yesterday and looked pretty impressive. Not huge in numbers, but very competitive. The all new F3 class. Stevenson being chased by the 13 of Nick Van Strydock. We pack the 10, the 7, and the 88 make up the rest of the field. Stephen Banky is on the number 10 out of Lodi, Wisconsin, a 2019 skidoo. White flag coming out this time around. This one was five laps, four down, one to go for the freaky fast 102. That is Blaine Stevenson out of the Wall Brothers Racing Shop in Greenbush, Minnesota. He has been quick all weekend. Great racing for fourth and fifth. Your leader crosses the finish line. Stevenson will win it, followed by the 13 of Van Strydonk. Lee Pack. Then the wild child, Nick Ledoy. Lagoy sponsored by the Peru Farm Center, Northline Utilities, and Lagoy Automotive. It's gonna run a mixed schedule this year. And again, considering that F3 class. All right, coming up next, another pro champ. Heat race, this will be heat number two for round one. Five laps will be the distance. And riding the number 115 is Dylan Anagastopoulos out of Cedarburg, Wisconsin. The H2O is Christopher Huther out of Medford, Wisconsin. Riding the eight aboard the Skidoo. This is the Ryback Custom Machine, number eight of Travis McDonald, the local boy out of Goner, Manitoba. Won a heat race yesterday. The number 39, sponsored by Wall Brothers Racing and Jimmy Johns. The 39 is Tom Olson on the 2020 Polaris Wall Chassis. And the 220 three-time TLR Cup champion and last year's winner of the Canadian Power Toboggan Championships out of West Chicago, Illinois, the Red Bull 2020 Skidoo is G-Money Gutter Stern. Gutter Stern on the 220 starting outside in race number three on your schedule. Travis McDonald, local boy on the XPS Skidoo. Former Valcourt winner. Actually, a few years ago here in Beaux-Azur won the December race both Saturday and Sunday. So he knows how to get around this racetrack. Getting set to go. This is Prochamp. Good start for the 39. Wall Brothers Racing 39 after watching the Wall Brothers 102 win a race. He wants to do the same thing for Wall Brothers Racing, and he is your leader. Tom Olson out of the Greenbush, Minnesota Wall Brothers shop. Great racing for the top four here. Wow. Gunnar Stern and Travis McDonald really getting at it. Look at them in turn number one and two. McDonald on the inside, Gunnar Stern on the outside. McDonald's got speed. Take a look on the inside. That sled is flying. Great racing for the top spot. 163 kilometers per hour. Look at McDonald. He's got some serious straightaway speed. Travis McDonald out of Goner, Manitoba. Has some legs here today. Here he comes on the back bumper of the 39 of Tom Olson. What a race. Look at the middle of the straightaway. Is he going? Just doesn't have quite enough to pass that number 39. White flag, one to go. Can McDonald get him? McDonald gonna try the high side and might cut back down low. He does so. Look at how close this race is.
What a race coming out of turn number four. How about that? Your winner, Travis McDonald. What a fantastic ride for the XPS sponsored rider out of Goner, Manitoba. Wow. Came out of nowhere like a shot, passing the Wall Brothers Racing 39 of Tom Olson. Definitely the best race of the day. That was entertaining. Great job by Travis McDonald, the local boy out of Manitoba. All right, just getting some lineup updates. We will pass those along to you as soon as we can. Well, that was race number three, and oh, what a race it was. In race three, your Pro Champ 440 round one heat two race. That was five laps, and Travis McDonald showing everybody else the way to the finish line on the 2016 Skidoo, sponsored by XPS. Travis McDonald also has Aspirations to compete in the new F3 class. Currently running the Champ and the Pro Champs. They've detuned the Pro Champs for 2019 and 20. Basically you have to be a stock engine with a little bit of cylinder head work. You can play with a squish, tune pipes allowed as well. And then what we used to know as the old Pro Champ class, the modified sleds are now called the Champs. All right, so here we go. Sport Formula 500 class. Heat one, three will qualify to the final. This one will be five laps. We have a scratch to 32V. John Vahovic out of Kuwait and Ontario will not appear. John Vahovic is out. Who is in, however, the 29 Ashton Christensen. The 13 is Kieran Lowen out of Altona. Riding the 54 is Tom Peelback. The 965 is Austin Graber. 148 is Harley Ears. The QB is Dylan Bradner from Medford, Wisconsin. And the 113A is out of Middle River, Minnesota. And that is Aaron Davey. So we are racing here in race number four, the Sport Formula 500 class. Austin Graber on that 965 is out of Clear Lake, Minnesota. 29, Ashton Christensen out of Luck, Wisconsin. Great racing in the top three. Race number four on your schedule. Sport Formula 500 class, where three will qualify to the main event. We'll take three out of the next race as well. Aaron Davey out of Middle River, Minnesota. Wow, is he moving along. One hundred thirty three kilometers per hour. Twenty nine in the nine six five second and third. The fifty four is Tom Peelback. Tom is from Beaux on a nineteen ninety seven Skidoo. But only the top three qualify to the main event out of this one. White flag is out. Your leader's working turn number three now. On the final lap, Riley has the checkered flag in hand. And coming out of turn number four, whoa, we got riders in the bales. Looks like the 29 is going to win that one narrowly over the 113. But we have an incident in turn number three and four. One of the riders is up. 
and it looks like the second getting to his feet. So that is good news over there. I think just two sleds involved. Our safety crew getting on over there as quickly as possible. Quite a few incidences yesterday on the big racetrack. Want to invite everybody to trackside parking that's coming in in their vehicle, but please remember to leave your headlights off at trackside parking at all times. Please, headlights off at trackside parking. All right, here's your next race is coming up. Race number five will be the Sport Formula 500 class again. Then race six, Ice Bike Open. Race seven, the Relic Mods. And race eight, the IFS 440 X class. All right, so our safety crew rather doing a great job over in three and four as they always do. Looks like everybody is okay from turn three and four, so awaiting the arrival of our next Sport Formula 500 race coming up in just moments here in Beauziger. Want to welcome everybody once again. Thank you for supporting this great facility. Also like to thank our sponsors, FXR, Moosehead and Twisted Tea, MacDon, the Howland Hotel, and we'd also like to thank the RM of Brokenhead in the town of Beauziger for all of their generous support. Well, throughout the day, we will see the F3 class. It looks like race 15 might be our first look at that all-new class. We saw them yesterday. The F3 class is said to be the 2021 Eagle River World Championship class. And the F3 is a basically stock chassis, snowcross-type chassis that you'd buy at your dealer. You put in an oval track skid, different A-arms up front. It's a 600 stock engine with no mods allowed. You're only allowed eight inches of carbide and no titanium anywhere on an F3 sled. So the idea is to try to get the factories back involved with what is, well, more of a stock sled. It's not quite stock, obviously, with the track and front end mods, but it is closer to a factory sled that you'd buy in the showroom versus what you might see as a Pro Champ sled that is completely modified. So that's the idea, make them look like stalkers and try to get the factories back in with a little better sponsorship. Money means a lot, of course, in racing, and this sport is not cheap, I can tell you that. All right, so a restart happening here. Aaron Davies on the 113A out of Middle River, Minnesota. The 29 is Ashton Christensen. 13 is Kieran Lowen out of Altona. The 2B is Dylan Bradner from Medford, Wisconsin. The 148 is Harley Ayers from Medford, Wisconsin. <laughs> 29 of Ashton Christensen pulling up alongside the 113 of Aaron Davey. As they hit into turn number three, that is a great race for first and second. Checkered flag coming out this time around, a one lap showdown. Look at how close this one is, wow. That one too tough to call. We'll give you the official finish momentarily. All right, your winner, it's official. Number 29 takes the win. That is Ashton Christensen out of Luck, Wisconsin. Great luck at the finish line, taking the win.
All right, Sports Formula 500 class. The 67, the 9, and the 35 are scratches. That is Amber Stevens, Stefan Carrigman, and Dylan Barron. The 334 is going to be Dalton Fredrickson. The 223, Adam Brown. Cutting the 964 is Colton Graber out of Clear Lake, Minnesota. And the 829 is Jesse Pescatelli out of Lebo, Manitoba, riding a 1990 Polaris. So three will qualify to the main event out of this four sled race. Three will qualify, one will not. One hundred thirty nine kilometers per hour. Attention to the pit area. Race six is the ice bike open. Race seven, relic mod. SS single, fan cooled, and free air final, and race eight is the IFS 440X class. White flag is out for your race leader, 334. That, of course, Dalton Fredrickson being pursued by Colton Graber on the 964, and the 223 is third currently. That is Adam Braun out of Winnipeg. Those are your top three and three qualifiers thus far. Good battle in turn three and four now as they come down the front straightaway. Checkered flag is flying. Your winner is going to be the 334 of Dalton Fredrickson. Colton Graber on the 964 crosses the line. As does the 223 of Adam Braun from Winnipeg. That is a 1996 Polaris for Adam Braun on the 223 and he will take the third and final transfer spot. All right, looks like we're going to race six next. Your ice bike open for five laps. Scratch the Colton Korolavich entry out of Bozizer, the 117. Colton Korolavich, we are told, will not make it to the starting line on the Yamaha. Well, good start for the number 19. That is Cal Dietz out of Saskatoon, winning a race here yesterday. Cal Dietz out of Saskatoon on the 1992 Kawasaki. The 108 is Bruce Dean, the 14 Ryan Rondeau. 35 is Tim Fawcett out of East Selkirk and the 71 is three-time Canadian champion Kim Hood. Ryan Rondeau almost gets into the 71. 71 goes inside of the 14 with a great move, wow. These bikes are flying. Great three bike race in turn three and four.
Jim Hood now taking a run at the leader, Rondo way on the outside on the number 14. 136 kilometers per hour. They are moving along on two wheels, wow. On ice to boot. Their leader, the number 14, Ryan Rondo out of Winnipeg. He's got the 2019 Kawasaki up front and flying. Really liking that outside line in turn number one and two. Making it work for the Kawasaki and Ryan Rondo. White flag, one to go for the number 14, the 19 second, the 71 third. Nice ride by the number 14, Ryan Rondo out of Winnipeg on the Kawasaki. He will take the checkered flag. Second goes to the 19. That is Cal Dietz out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And the 71 third, Kim Hood, three-time Canadian champion. In his 60s right now is Kim Hood. Still rides a motorcycle like nobody's business. All right, Relic Mod time. Superstock single, fan cooled and free air final. Three laps is the distance. The 11 is gonna be Don Keir, the 69, Colin Demianic out of Winnipeg. That is a 1970 Skidoo. Scheduled to start on the number eight is Ray Gosselin from St. Malo and out of Altona on a 71 Yamaha. Kieran Lowen is on the number 13, way on the outside. All by is lonesome. So it looks like a couple of Yamahas on the outside, a Skidoo, second from inside, and an Articat on the very inside, a 69 Articat for Don Keir. Looks like the eight's running again. I see some smoke. It's old enough to smoke. I think we're green. The 11's going the wrong way. Looks to me like they're slowing on the back chute, so we have a false start. Now with these vintage sleds on the back straightaway, how long is it gonna take them to get around to the front straightaway so we can restart? Red flag is being displayed, so we will have a complete restart here in your Relic Mod Superstock Single Fan Cool and Free Air Final. Don Keir on the 1969 Articat waiting patiently on the starting line. Now joined by Colin Damianic. Also the eight of Ray Gosselin and the 13 of Kieran Lowen. Ray Gosselin off the sled, I think he's parking it. He is. Colin Demianic on the number 69. That is a 1970 Skidoo. He is up front and in command. 
The aid of Ray Gosselin is done for this one. Ray is out of St. Malo, Manitoba on a 1971 Yamaha. Next race up, attention in the pit area. Race number eight will be your IFS 440 X class. That'll be round one for three laps. Then we will go to a Cubex grooming break. Colin Demianics, number 69, handling very well. The 11 of Don Keir out of Winnipeg, just heading into turn one. Your leader's halfway down the back straightaway already. 100 kilometers per hour, exactly 62 miles an hour. White flag is out for Colin Demianic. And checkered flag is out. Your winner is the number 69, Colin Demianic. Second spot to the 13 of Kieran Lowen. And we have a recovery team coming out onto the racetrack. Seems Don Keir has stopped on the back chute. The number eight, Ray Gosselin on the front chute. Tough break for both of those riders. Just two finish that race out of the four that started. Great job once again by our awesome recovery crew. Boy, they work hard in that cold weather. Next race up, IFS 440X class, brought to you by FXR, Moosehead, Twisted T, MacDon, Howland Hotel, and the town of Beausager. Don't forget the beer garden is open. We have a full line of all new CPTC promo wear just in time for Christmas. Get the snowmobile fan and your family some great CPTC promo wear. Also concession is open right below the grandstands. They have delicious food, hot coffee, hot chocolate, burgers, fries, hot dogs. It is great down there. Do check it out. IFS 440X class, the 370 is Mad Zelaya out of Garson. Out of Anola is the 511 Tyson Bazdell. He's on a 1978 motoski. And the 21 is Tyler Obi out of Bozier. Tyler on a 1979 Skidoo. These three guys always very competitive in the IFS 440X class. That's the lie in a great big hurry off the green flag. Here comes Tyler Obi on the inside on the number 21, making this a good race in turn number three. One hundred fifty seven kilometers per hour on the previous lap for your race leader. Matt Zalai is on the three seventy out of Garson, Manitoba. 
as an 81 moto ski. Flank for the number 370, not so high. Obi and Tyson Bazdell, second and third respectively, and that'll do it for race number eight, your IFS 440X class. Well, now we are going to take a Cubex intermission break for some grooming. Once again, I'd like to thank our sponsors, FXR, Moosehead, Twisted T, MacDon, and the Howland Hotel. We'll be back with you shortly with more race action live here from Beaujolais, Manitoba at the CPTC. Race Plex. All right, back with race number. Great racing action, the number 38 right there.
Next up, race number 10, Pro Chap 440, round two, heat number one. Five laps will be the distance. Riding the 13 out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. This is a 19 Polaris. The rider is Nick Van Strydonk. The H2O is Christopher Huther out of Medford, Wisconsin. Riding the 7NY, mounted on an Arctic Cat for the first time ever this year. This is the wild child, Nick Lagoy on the 7NY. 30 hour drive from the Morrisonville, New York area. Actually lives in Plattsburgh, which is pretty close. And riding the number eight out of Goddard, Manitoba, 2016 Skidoo. This is Travis McDonald. The 220 is Gunnar Stern. G-Money out of West Chicago, Illinois. He is a three-time TLR Cup champion, is Gunnar Stern. Out of West Chicago, Illinois, riding a 2020 Skidoo. And out of Warman, Saskatchewan, the 88 is Brennan Boxall. Travis McDonald, the local boy on the number eight, sponsored by FXR, Woody's, XPS Lubricants, Skidoo, and Ryback Custom Machine. 2016 Valcourt winner. We'll get an F3 sled here this year at some point. That number eight sled completely rebuilt over the summer after a bad crash here in March of 2019. Both jabs up and ready to lift. Good start for Van Strydonk on the Amsoil Polaris. Two-time CPTC champion and two-time Eagle River World champion in his last year of racing. Nick Van Strydonk started when he was four on Kitty Cats, is now 29 and is in his 25th and final year of competition. Travis McDonald now coming up to join the party as he runs tight with a 220 of G-Money Gunner Stern out of West Chicago, Illinois. Remember the straightaway speed that McDonald had in the earlier heat race? Well, it looks like he's found it again as he takes over the second spot. The XPS Lubricants, number eight. Now to the second spot, dropping G-Money to third. Nick Lagoy fourth, the 88 of Boxall is fifth. Six is the H2O of Christopher Huther out of Medford, Wisconsin. 163 kilometers per hour, about 100 miles an hour. Nice job so far by the 25 year racing veteran, Nick Van Strydonk out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. One Eagle River in 2012 and 2017 as he takes the white flag. He was the Canadian Power Toboggan Champion in 09 and 2012. Sponsored by FXR, Incredible Bank, Polaris Amsoil, and Erg's Sales and Service. Great ride, good to see him win a fine gentleman. Second flag for Nick Van Strydon. McDonald second, G-Money Gunner Stern third. Fourth, the wild child, Nick Lagoy out of New York. Fifth is Boxall out of Saskatchewan. But a nice ride for Nick Van Strydonk, dominant from the start. The H2O comes across the line. That is Christopher Huther out of Medford, Wisconsin on a 2010 Skidoo. But a great ride once again for Nick Van Strydonk, the veteran out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin, taking the win on the Incredible Bank FXR Amsoil number 13. All right, here comes another round of Pro Champ 440s. Don't forget these particular sleds have been detuned for this upcoming season. They still can run tuned pipes and affect the squish in the cylinder head. They can do a little bit of cylinder head mods, but that is about it. No carbon fiber or titanium. I was told in the pit area on Friday that when they had the titanium picks and the carbon fiber backing plates, a track on a Pro Champ sled could cost about $7,000 US, just the track. So that's all gone now, no carbon fiber or titanium in the track itself. 
Just to give you an idea of the cost difference, there's about 300 picks in these tracks. A steel pick is $1.40, a titanium one is $12. The weight has been increased from 375 to 400 pounds. They could use an eight inch carbide on the inside only. And the electronic limiters are now gone as well. That was the traction device that they could use to raise or lower the ride height of the sled at the starting line. So lots of changes to the Pro Champ sleds for 2019 and 20 season. As we get set to go with race 11, here we go. One hundred two, Blaine Stevenson. The one fifteen is Dylan Anagastopoulos. Thirty nine is the Wall Brothers Racing entry of Tom Olson. Griffin Leepak rides the one. The ten is Stephen Mankey out of Lodi, Wisconsin. Two Wall Brothers Racing sleds way up front here. The one hundred two, Blaine Stevenson. Riders from Hutchinson, Minnesota. The sled is out of Greenbush, Minnesota. Tom Olson having a nice run on the second spot. These guys getting her figured out quick in the Pro Champ 440 class. Freaky fast, 102 to 39. Lead it, Griffin Leepak is third. The 10 of Stephen Mankey out of Lodi, Wisconsin, currently occupying the fourth position. One five nine, one hundred fifty nine kilometers per hour. Lane Stevenson absolutely on fire here. Go champ four forty round two heat. Number two white flag is out for your race leader. He's got about a halfway screen, a rather straightaway lead on his teammate, the number 39, Tom Olson out of Greenbush. Checkered flag for the 102, Blaine Stevenson takes yet another one, followed by Tom Olson. Both riders out of the Wall Brothers Racing Camp in Greenbush, Lee Pack. On the number one with a nice run, Griffin Leepak out of Hartford, Wisconsin, riding a 2019 Articat chassis. But a great job by the Wall Brothers Racing Polaris is in that one. Blaine Stevenson on the 102 and the 39 Tom Olson, first and second on the racetrack in race 11, your Pro Champ 440 round two, heat two race. Coming up, Pro Formula 500s times two, race 12 and 13 will be Pro Formula 500s, and here they come. 24 is gonna be Jordan Sobetsky on the Sobetsky Enterprises entry. He is from Beausager. Riding the 95 is Jerry LePage from Murillo, Ontario. The 113A is Aaron Davey. The 96 is Bruce Rosentretter. The 334, Dalton Fredrickson. Fredrickson is out of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Number 26 is Quinn Whitechuck from Beausager. And the 965 is Austin Graber from Clear Lake, Minnesota. Austin Graber on the 965 starting outside in race number 12, your Pro Formula 500 heat number one. Riley Baker, our official starter, looking him over. Oh boy, Rosentreader sticks his nose in turn number one and comes out with the whole shot. Battling with the 334. And that rider is Dalton Fredrickson out of Thief River Falls. Great racing up front. Looked like Fredrickson was gonna get the whole shot, but Rosentretter shot through the corner and has the lead currently. Look at the battle for third, fourth, and fifth. 
Very tight racing in turns one and two. This race scheduled for five laps. Three qualified to the Pro Formula 500 final. Just three are going. Look at that race for the top three. Wow. Flying down the back straightaway. Looks like Rosentreader dropping a position or two. 140 kilometers per hour, 84 miles an hour on the previous circuit. Jordan Sobetsky on the Sobetsky Enterprises 24 enters the second spot, dropping Rosenfeder to third. The leader is the 334 of Dalton Fredrickson out of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Great racing in the top three. Great racing for fourth, fifth, and sixth as well in turn number three. These riders are getting at it. White flag, one to go for Fredrickson. Oh, Rosenfeder back in the second. Sobetsky now in third on the Sobetsky Enterprises 24. Checkered flag, the 334 of Fredrickson is going to win it. Rosenfeder, Sobetsky, and the 965 and the 113A of Aaron Davey round out the top five, but don't forget only three qualify to the final right there in the Pro Formula 500 class. So, coming up next, race 13, Pro Formula 500, heat two, where again, three will qualify to the final. All right, race 13, Pro Formula 500, heat two, three qualified in the final. Scratch, the number nine of Stefan Kerrigan. Stefan Kerrigan out of Winnipeg will not make this one. All right, the 87 is gonna be Madison Phillips out of Drayton, North Dakota. Looks like the 446 currently is missing. That's Mike Shackelford, not at the line. Colton Graver is on the 964. He is there. The 91 will likely not start this one either. <laughs> 48 on the outside is Brian Healy. Kendra Westland on the number 113. Looks like Kendra Westland out of Strathcona, Minnesota with the hole shot. Kendra is on a 1992 Polaris here in heat two of the Pro Formula 500 class. Three qualify to the final. Madison Phillips is out of Drayton, North Dakota in the third spot, but being challenged now for that third spot. That is the bubble. Only three qualify to the final. Colton Graber out of Clear Lake, Minnesota, holding on to that second spot, trying to catch your leader, the 113 of Kendra Westland. <laughs> 139 kilometers per hour, about 83 miles an hour. Ski up and turns number one and two. Leader still the same, Kendra Westland. Yeah. 
White flag, one to go in the Pro Formula 500 heat sheet. The 964 Fulton Vegas second, Phillips third. Brian Healy's got to make a pass. He is currently fourth. The 87 gets a little high up in turn one and two, and Healy closes the gap rather, but unable to pass Madison Phillips on the 87. followed by the 964 of Colton Graber. Madison Phillips, then Healy. So that'll be your top four, but only three qualify. Tough break for Brian Healy out of Lorette, Manitoba in the 1990 Polaris. He finishes fourth, not good enough to go to the final. Race 14 coming up, ATV open round one for five laps. ATVs hit the racetrack here for the first time ever in Beausajur yesterday, put on a good show. We're expecting more of the same here today. The 34 is Mark Sexton out of Lorette, Manitoba. That is a Can-Am. 22 is Dustin Fournier-Bresky out of La Brokerie, Manitoba. Riding the 108 is Bruce Dean. The 12 is Tyrone Weave. Tyrone is out of Woodlands, Manitoba. From Enola is the 23 of Adam Halfrick, the 13 is Cody Bedient, the 11 Paul Reed, the 22 is Austin Lewandowski out of Winnipeg. Riding the number 20 is Pete Friesen from Steinbach. He's on a 2004 Yamaha. And on a 2011 Can-Am, number 215 is Stefan Weeb out of Woodlands. He ran real good on the 215 yesterday. That is the orange 215 towards the outside. ATV open, so dirt bikes here today, the ATVs, the snowmobiles, lots of variety, lots of great racing scheduled today. This is race 14 of a total of 41 races on the day. All right, we got a rider in the back there, can't make out the number, but he's not quite as ready as the rest of them. Now he is. Ball start. Well, some of them with reverse, some of them with foot reverse. Manual reverse, yep. Ah, oh, it saves weight in the gearbox. And looking over, green flag, here we go, sideways off the line. the 34 of Mark Sexton out of Florette, Manitoba with the whole shot. We'll see what kind of speeds these ATVs get on the straightaways. Mark Sexton, the leader, followed by the 215. That is... Cody Bedient on number 13 is out of Marchand, currently running in the third position. Looking back and 
Andes, the rider right behind them. They are getting real sideways in turn number one and two. One eighteen, 118 kilometers an hour, about 70 miles an hour. It's actually pretty quick. Oh, somebody's going for a loop. How about that? Looks like the 215 right into the bales. But he is okay, still seated. Bales not so okay, but we'll get that fixed up. So that was your second place rider, Stefan Weeb on the 215. He's not second any longer, but he's gonna try to make it up. Your leader, Mark Sexton, over in turn number four with a lead that is, well, huge. Another spinner in turn two. Sexton takes the white flag, your leader on the 34. On three wheels around turn number one. Working through turns three and four now. Riley Baker has the checkered flag in hand, and it's going to go to Mark Sexton on the lower at Manitoba. Not much question about that, about a half track lead on the rest of the pack. That's what you call cleaning up. Look at this race for second. It looks like the 13. Cody Bedient narrowly edging out the 23 of Adam Halfrick out of Anola, Manitoba. Great race for second and third. And a great finish as well. Race 14 in the books, your ATV open race. All right, next up, race 15 is the all new Formula 3 class. This class coming up is said to be the world championship class for Eagle River in 2021 based on a stock chassis, snowcross type chassis. They put an oval skid in it, different A-arms. It's a 600 stock engine with no modifications, eight inch carbide allowed only, and no titanium allowed period in the all new Formula 3 class. Riding the 220 is G-Money out of West Chicago, Illinois. This is Gunnar Stern, mounted on a 2020 Red Bull Skidoo. The number 39 is Tom Olson out of Greenbush, Minnesota. Wall Brothers Racing, Jimmy John sponsored entry. And the 13 is Nick Van Strydonk from Tomahawk, Wisconsin. It is final year of racing aboard a 2020 Polaris. Nick Van Strydonk sponsored by FXR, Incredible Bank, Polaris, Amsoil, and Irv's Sales and Service. Race 15 on your schedule, the Formula 3, round one, just three laps for this one. All right, Riley calls him over, we're ready to go. Don't forget, just three laps. Formula three, round one for three laps. 600 stock engine with no modifications. The idea, you can walk into your dealer, you buy the snow cross type sled, you change the front end and the skid, and basically go racing. That's to get the factories back interested and involved. Unlike the pro champs that are sort of one-off custom sleds. Great start, 220, Gunner Stern, wow. Off like a shot. These particular sleds hit this racetrack for the first time ever on Friday for practice. Nick Van Strydonk was the first guy out and they were very concerned about how these sleds were gonna turn. G 
G-Money, Gunnar Stern. The Red Bull 2020 Skidoo looking good out there. Tom Olson, the Wall Brothers Racing, Jimmy Johns, FXR, number 39 second. Close racing for first and second. The all new Formula Three class. At 162 kilometers an hour, so that is moving. flag, Gunnar Stern, followed by Tom Olson and Nick Van Strydonk. That is your top three, and only three in race number 15, the Formula 3 class. One more race before a Cubex intermission break. That'll be your Junior 1 Sprint 380 class for 12 to 14 year olds. This will be the final. There will be five laps. Riding the 434 is gonna be Miranda Peterson out of Lancaster, Minnesota. This is a 2000 GPR chassis. The 30 is Jocelyn Rathke from Wausau, Wisconsin, riding a 2000 Skidoo. Out of Greenbush, Minnesota, riding the Egg Farms, number 199. This is Lawrence Egg on a premier chassis and rounding out the field in race number 16 from Drayton, North Dakota, a 2017 Wall Brothers Racing chassis. The rider is Hunter Johnson. Hunter Johnson on the 59 in race number 16. Sprint 380 class for five laps. This is the final for them. Oop, 199, getting a little excited. Number 30 with a great start. That is Jocelyn Rathke out of Wausau, Wisconsin. Racing down the back chute, don't forget five laps is the distance. We'd like to remind everybody at trackside parking, headlights off at all times, please. Headlights off at trackside parking. It's been very good today, so thank you. You can listen in on 88.9 FM throughout the day. Rosalind Rathke out of Wausau, Wisconsin, aboard a 2000 Skidoo here in the Junior One Sprint 380 class. 199 is Lawrence Egg out of Greenbush, currently second. Hunter Johnson is out of Drayton on the 59 third. Miranda Peterson on the 434 is fourth. 117 kilometers per hour. About 70 miles an hour. Following this race, we will go to a Cubex intermission break. Do a little bit of grooming, get the track in shape for race number 17. We'll come back out of intermission with race 17, the Ice Bike Open Final. Race 18 will be Pro Champs, as will race 19. Here's the battle for the lead. And those riders getting the white flag. Jocelyn Rathke, your leader. Lawrence Egg out of Greenbush in the second spot. Hunter Johnson third. Miranda Peterson on the 4-3-4. Over in turn three and four is fourth. The leader's coming through that same corner as well now. Jocelyn Rathke will take the win, followed by Lawrence Egg out of Greenbush. Well, time for a Cubex intermission break. Grab yourself something hot to eat or cold to drink at the concession area. 
The beer garden is open. Grab your CPTC promo wear. There's some real cool stuff available at the beer garden for Christmas. So do check it out. We'll be back with you shortly. All right, we're back live here at the CPTC Raceplex for race number 17. And here's how it looks, brought to you by FXR. This is your ice bike open final, seven laps is the distance. The 108 is gonna be Bruce Dean from Winnipeg, the 35, Tim Fawcett. Tim is out of East Selkirk, Manitoba on a 2018 Yamaha. Now the 117, Cor Colton Korolavich was scheduled. I do not see him yet. So likely a scratch. The 14 is Ryan Rondeau, the 19 Cal Dietz out of Saskatoon, and the 71 is Kim Hood. We are racing. Good start for the 19 of Cal Dietz out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Kim Hood and Ryan Rondeau on the move right now, second and third. This one's scheduled for seven laps, your final in the Ice Bike Open class. Ryan Rondeau on the outside of Kim Hood. Kim Hood, a three-time Canadian champion. Also run the championship in Glen Ellen in California for over 50-year-old riders. Over 50 world champion in Glen Ellen many years ago. He was 50 many years ago, in fact. Look at this race, 134, 134 kilometers per hour. Rondo Hood and the 19 now dropping to third. These bikes are fast, wow. Two wheels on ice, that is something else. Here come your leaders. Green flag still being displayed. Rondo, Kim Hood, the 19 of Cal Dietz. 35 is Tim Fawcett from East Selkirk, Manitoba. Bruce Dean is on the 108 out of Winnipeg. That's a Husqvarna. Rondo continues to lead. Hood and Dietz, your top three in the Ice Bike Open Final. Wow, that's pretty rare. Looks like the number 71, Kim Hood, is off the pace. Something wrong with that motorcycle, apparently. White flag is out for the leader, the number 14. That's Ryan Rondeau. About a 26-second lap time on these particular motorcycles. Ryan Rondeau looks back and sees nobody there. He has a huge lead, and... Turn number three and four in the Ice Bike Open. And that'll do it. Your winner is going to be Ryan Rondeau out of Winnipeg on the 2019 Kawasaki. Second is going to go to Dietz. Kim Hood comes across the line as well. Tim Fawcett on the 35 over in turn three and four. Fawcett from East Selkirk, Manitoba. 108 as well out there. Bruce Dean from Winnipeg. And there's Fawcett. And that'll do it for the Ice Bike Open Final. Seven laps is done. Pro Champ 440 coming up. Round three, heat number one for five laps. And on the 7NY out of New York, mounted on an Arctic Cat for this season. This is the Wild Child, Nick Lagoy, sponsored by Peru Farm Center and Northline Utilities along with Lagoy Automotive. And on the 115, this is Dylan Anagastopoulos out of Cedarburg, Wisconsin on a 20 Arians. The number eight is Travis McDonald out of Goner, Manitoba on the Skidoo. 
Sponsored by XPS Lubricants and Ryback Custom Machine. Number 10 is Stephen Mankey out of Lodi, Wisconsin. And the one is Griffin Leepak from Hartford, Wisconsin. Rounding out the field, the H2O, Christopher Huther out of Medford, Wisconsin on a 2010 Skidoo. This is race 18 on your schedule. Pro Champ 440s, five laps will be the distance. Travis McDonald, local rider on the number eight. Currently running champ and pro champ will have an F3 sled momentarily. Previous winner both days in December. Sponsored by FXR Woody's XPS Lubricant Skidoo and Ryback Custom Machine. We're getting set to go here, race 18, Pro Champ 440. Good start by the Wild Child out of New York. Nick Ledoy out of Plattsburgh, New York. 2018 TLR Cup, well he finished fourth overall. Got a couple of podiums. First year on an Articat for the Wild Child. He's raced Skidoo's for 13 years. Dylan Andagostopoulos out of Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Following along in the second spot and doing a nice job. Tries to get a run on the inside. Great battle up front. Looks like Travis McDonald up front now. Travis McDonald on the XPS Lubricants number eight. Wow, he's had a great weekend here. He loves this track. He is a winner in Valcourt in 2016. Looking real good up front on the number eight out of Goner, Manitoba. Roy second, Magistopoulos third on the 115. One to go for Travis McDonald. Nick Lagoy, the wild child, second. And Agostopoulos, Leepak, and the 10 of Stephen Mankey make up the top five so far. The H2O of Christopher Huther is sixth. That'll do it. Travis McDonald will take it. Local rider out of Garner, Manitoba. Nick Lagoy will come home in the second spot. And Agastopoulos unofficially third. All right, race 19 coming up next. Pro Champ 440, round three, heat two. This one will also be five laps. And riding the number 220 out of West Chicago, Illinois. This is the Red Bull Skidoo of Gunnar Stern. Gunner, of course, a three-time TLR Cup champion, won the March race here last year, the Canadian Power Toboggan Championships. Keep your eyes on the 220 of Gunner Stern in race number 19. Also, the 13, sponsored by Polaris and Amsoil. This is the veteran, 25-year veteran, in fact, Nick Van Strydonk out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. Nick is on a 2019 Polaris. The 39, sponsored by Wall Brothers Racing in Greenbush, Minnesota along with Jimmy Johns. This is Tom Olson on a 2020 Polaris wall chassis. Also on a Wall Brothers chassis is the 88 of Brennan Boxall from Warman, Saskatchewan. And rounding out the field, yet more Wall Brothers racing entries. The 102, Blaine Stevenson. Eagle River World Champion out of Hutchinson, Minnesota, riding the 2020 Wall Brothers racing Polaris, sponsored by Jimmy Johns. That should be your lineup for race number 19 in the Pro Champ division. Tension in the pit area. Let's have a look at the next races after this Pro Champ race. Race 20, Sportsman 600s. Race 21, Sport Formula 500 B Main. Four will qualify to race 25.
All right, so the clock in the staging area, we understand, is on Tom Olson, the Wall Brothers Racing 39. And Brennan Boxall in the 88 apparently has turned around and gone back into the pit area. So they're not sure if Olson's gonna make this one. Boxall has turned back towards the pit area. So we could have a few less than we bargained for here in race number 19. This is your Pro Champ class. Round three, heat two. I only see two in turn four and I see another one leaving the staging area. Five were scheduled, Gunnar Stern, Nick Van Strydonk, Tom Olson, Brennan Boxall, and Blaine Stevenson. Only three have appeared. So we might be going with three here for five laps in race number 19. 39 is coming, we're told now. So the 39 of Tom Olson will join the field. The Wall Brothers Racing Jimmy Johns FXR number 39 is now scheduled to run. So that should just leave one missing and that should be the 88 of Brennan Boxall from Warman, Saskatchewan on the 2014 Wall Brothers Racing chassis. And here he comes, the number 39 sponsored by Wall Brothers Racing. And Jimmy Johns. Riley's ready to go down there. He's got the green flag in his hand. Talking back in the staging area. Gunnar Stern out of West Chicago, Illinois on the Red Bull Skidoo. Coming towards our starter. Number 13, Nick Van Strydonk on the Polaris. And the Wall Brothers Racing Team, the 39 and the 102, Tom Olson and Blaine Stevenson. This should be a good race. Blaine Stevenson is gonna try to sweep around the outside, and he does from the outside of row number one. Blaine Stevenson with the whole shot, Gunnar Stern second. Third is Van Strydon. Wall Brothers Racing Team with lots of speed here this weekend. They're gonna be happy about that. Stevenson Stern, the 39 now, challenging Van Strydon for the third spot. That is the 39 of Tom Olson, who almost missed this race. But certainly Blaine Stevenson, silky smooth here this weekend on the Jimmy Johns Wall Brothers Racing number 102. He is hitting his marks. Brothers Racing 102 is pulling away. One hundred sixty six kilometers per hour. The white flag is out for the race later. The freaky fast one zero two. Close with Nick Van Strydonk, the 39, a little off the pace. 39, Tom Olson out of Greenbush, Minnesota on the Wall Brothers Racing, 39. But a good win once again for Blaine Stevenson, who has had a whale of a weekend here in Beausager. Race 20 coming up, Sportsman 600s, round one for five laps. 
Good looking field here. The 26 will be Quinn Whitechuck. The 223 is Adam Braun. Riding the 72 is Ryan Fleeshacker out of Humboldt, Minnesota. The number three is Shane Wagner. 16 is DJ Saluk from Bozizer. 23 is Will Manchalenko. Riding the 13 is John Hall. The 39 is Brett Kielbach. And the 116 is an Osho, John Zielinski, scratch from your lineup. Five laps of distance in race 20. We're about halfway through the day here now at race number 20 of 41. Quinn Whitechuck getting ready to go on the inside here in the Sportsman 600 class. Great start for the 72 of Ryan Fleeshacker. Looking a little bumpy in turns one and two now. They head on down the back straightaway. The 72 is your leader, Ryan Fleeshocker. Heads up, we've got a rider down in turn number three. And that rider is up and walking already. That is great news. I saw the tail end of that one. The sled is in the bales in turns three and four. Actually, the entrance to turn three, in fact. All right, here they come for the restart. We believe the rider involved in turn three was, in fact, the number 13, John Hall at a Bozizer. He is okay, however. So that is good news. All right, that was lap one, so we have a five lap race. Here we go. DJ Saluk on the number 16. 23 is Will Manchalenko. Will is out of St. Malo, Manitoba. Quick start there. Rewind in turn number four. DJ Saluk. Then the 23 and the 39 battle. Manchalenko on the 23, the 39 is Brett Kielbach from West Pine Ridge, Manitoba. 149 kilometers per hour. 90 miles an hour. Lee Shacker fourth on the number 72. We got the original hole shot in this race. Ryan Fleeshocker out of Humboldt, Minnesota, riding a 1997 Polaris. These riders now stringing out on the racetrack. Your leaders coming out of turn number four now. This one's scheduled for five laps. Leader still is Salute. 39. Second. And the 72 and the 23 of Roman Polanco. Fifth spot is Quinn Whitechuck out of Bozinger. On the number 26. White flag is out. Not much change into the top five. Your race leader is flying out there. That is the number 16 of DJ Salute. From Bozizer riding a 2000 Polaris. Checkered flag is in the air. Saluk on his way to it. And he's got it. DJ Saluk will take that win. Second spot to keel back on the number 39. Third is Fleeshacker. Fourth, Manchalenko. And fifth is Whitechuck. Lovetsky Enterprises 26 finishes fifth. Quinn Whitechuck on the 26.
Next up will be race 21. This will be your Sport Formula 500 B main. Four will qualify, five will be on the racetrack. So just one rider will not qualify for the Sport Formula 500 main. Here's the lineup, race 21, Sport Formula 500 B main. The 2B is Dylan Bradner from Medford, Wisconsin. Out of Lebo, Manitoba is the 829. This is Jesse Pescatelli. The 148 is Harley Ehlers from Medford, Wisconsin. And from Clear Lake, Minnesota, the 965 is gonna be Austin Graber. Austin Graber on the 965. And rounding out the field, the 54 is Tom Keelback from Bozeger. 1997 Skidoo, so five sleds, four qualify to the main event. All right, hands in the air indicating the race receivers are working. Austin Graber on the 965 with the whole shot. That rider out of Clear Lake, Minnesota on a 1990 Polaris looking good out of turn number two. Don't forget, just four qualify, one goes to the trailer. This B main scheduled for five laps. Fifty-four in the second spot. Tom Kielback out of Bozinger having a nice ride in the second position. 137 kilometers per hour. White flag coming out here in your Sport Formula 500 B main. Last chance qualifier. Nobody touching Austin Graber on the 965. Tom Keelback out of Bozizer second. The 2B a distant third, that is Dylan Bradner. Harley Ehlers is on the 148. Jesse Pescatelli on the 829 in the fifth spot unofficially. Four will qualify. Good. The 965 takes the win. Not much question about that one. Austin Graber followed by Tom Keelback from Bozizer. He will qualify as will the 2B of Dylan Bradner out of Medford, Wisconsin. And the 148 of Harley Ehlers out of Medford, Wisconsin. Not qualifying Jesse Pescatelli on the 829 from Lebo, Manitoba. Next up, race 22, your Super Mod 300 final for five laps. We'll bring you that lineup momentarily. All right, so here we go. Race 22, Super Mod 300 final. Five laps is the distance. The 13 is Kieran Lowen out of Altona. He is on a 1975 Yamaha. 
Riding a 1973 Polaris, the 65 is Norm Shura. The number 13 is John Hall from Bozinger. The 95 is Jerry LePage. Riding a 65X is Cody Whitechuck. The 44 is Vic Major. Vic Major on the 44. That is a 1973 Polaris from West St. Paul, Manitoba. Super Mod 300 final. Great start for the 65X of Cody Whitechuck. Norm Shaw on a very similar looking sled, number 65. So White Chuck on the 65X, Chura on the 65. Kieran Lorne, two number 13s in this one. John Hall, Kieran Lorne is on the Yamaha. Got it like 104 kilometers per hour, about 63 miles an hour on the previous lap. But Kieran Lorne is on a Yamaha, number 13. John Hall on an Arctic Cat, number 13. Three Polaris is up front, however. Gary LePage on the 95 out of Murillo, Ontario. That is the 75 Arctic Cat. There's the 13 of John Hall out of Beausager. That's the Arctic Cat. Flag is out, one to go. Dick Major on the 34 gets by White Chuck. Third is Norm Chura. The page. And Kieran Lowen round out the top five. Chuck second, Norm Chura third. That was your Super Mod 300 final. Jerry LePage coming home on officially fourth. Kieran Lowen fifth on the 1975 Yamaha. Number 13, Kieran Lowen unofficially fifth. That rider from Altona, Manitoba. All right, we're going to flop race 23 and 24 here. So we're going to go to race 24. Just listening on on the radio here to make sure they actually are switched. We were told they were, so. All right, we got Bruce straightened out now, I think. So race 24 will be 23 and 23 will be 24. So race 24 looks like this. The 199 is gonna be Lawrence Egg out of Greenbush. The 85 is Brett Borchard from Tomahawk, Wisconsin. The 30 is Jocelyn Rafke from Wausau, Wisconsin, and the 434 is Miranda Peterson. This will be your juniors two stock 380 class. Junior one stock 380 for 13 to 17 year olds. Coming up next.
Miranda Peterson out of Lancaster, Minnesota on the inside here. Junior two stock 380 class. Coming up next is race 23 on your schedule. A little bit of out of order. IFS 340X and Pro Stock 440 final. Norm Churro will be back in that one. So that's the reason they flopped the races to give him time. He just finished in the Super Mod 300 final. Looks like the 199 of Lawrence Egg may not have his race receiver in operation. Each of the riders uses a race receiver that is a one-way radio. Our race director can talk to them and let them know about red or yellow flag conditions on the racetrack. That is for safety reasons is the race receiver. Here we go, good start for the 434. Miranda Peterson out of Lancaster with the whole shot. This will be a five lap race, junior two stock 380 class. Miranda Peterson from Lancaster, Minnesota with the whole shot. Miranda riding a 2000 GPR chassis. Five in the 30, second and third. Brett Borchard from Tomahawk, Wisconsin. Being pursued by Jocelyn Rathke from Wausau, Wisconsin. Jocelyn on a 1999 Polaris here in this Junior Two Stock 380 race for 13 to 17 year olds. Good battle up front. Miranda Peterson on the 434 continues to lead, but that could change in a moment's notice. This race and one more before a Cubex intermission break. As a number 85 of Borchard, gonna try the outside on the 434 of Miranda Peterson. Now goes to the inside. A little sneaky over there. 107 kilometers per hour. Oh, heads up, we got a crash and a flip over in turn three and four. The rider is up and okay, however. I believe that is the 434 of Miranda Peterson, who is okay. The sled flipped significantly. So it looks like we're gonna slow him down here. Two remaining riders over in turn one and two. Peterson gonna try to refire, I believe, that 434 after leading that race. Tough break, must have caught a rut over in three and four and high-sided and that sled, well, it barrel rolled. Safety crew, Johnny on the spot in turn three and four for Miranda Peterson on the 434, who will certainly be disappointed with that one. It's tough when you're leading and go over on your own. And it looks like they might use a recovery sled over there. I don't know if they're gonna refire that 434 and try to continue here. This one was scheduled for five laps. We're well through that. Once again, next race, your IFS 340X and Pro Stock 440 final. That will be four laps, then we will go to a Cubex intermission break. After that intermission, we come back with race 25, the Sport Formula 500 final. Race 26 will be the Pro Champs, as will race 27. Race 28, Junior 2 F500 class for 14 to 17 year olds, that'll be a final. Race 29, the ATV Open final. Race 30, the Formula 3, that'll be round two for three laps. Race 31 will be the Pro Formula 500 B Main with five, quali or rather four qualifying to the final race 35 and then race 32 will be your Superstock 250, 300 and 340 fan final. Up break for Miranda Peterson heading back to the pit area out of Lancaster, Minnesota. So we will restart this race. 
I believe we have two down and three remaining. Two laps down, three to go with two remaining sleds. And on that racetrack, Brett Borchard out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin, riding the 85. The number 30 is Jocelyn Rathke out of Wausau, Wisconsin, on her 1999 Polaris. Side-by-side -side action off the starting line. Number 85 of Brett Borchard grabs a handful of throttle and heads through turn one and two as the leader. Two down, three remaining this time around. It'll be three down and two remaining. Now two to go. Your leader is Borchard, followed by the 30 of Jocelyn Rafke. Next up, IFS 340X and Pro Stock 440 final for four laps. White flag coming out in this one. Brett Borchard pulling away from the number 30 of Jocelyn Rathke out of Wausau, Wisconsin. Jocelyn on a 1999 Polaris. About a half a straightaway lead or so for Brett Borchard out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. And checkered flag is out. Your winner is going to be the number 85 of Brett Borchard. Second spot to the 30 of Jocelyn Rathke from Wausau, Wisconsin on the 99 Polaris. Second spot to Jocelyn Rathke. All right, one more race before a Cubex intermission break. This will be race 23 on your schedule, which is actually now race 24 on the day. IFS 340X and Pro Stock 440 final for four laps. Riding the 511 is going to be Tyson Buzdell from Enola. That is a 78 moto ski. 16 is Daryl Kaltoff from Saskatoon. The 65 is Norm Chura. And the 370 is Matt Zalai out of Garson. 1978 moto ski for Matt Zalai. Number 370. All right, here we go for four laps. Then we'll follow with a grooming break. Brought to you by Cubex. like an addition. Yeah, I think Yeah, I think we might be in the wrong race here. I mean, I get being excited, but don't go in the wrong class. Yeah, he really wants to race, huh? We'll give them some laps after four o'clock. Run all you want till midnight. Look at this race up front. Norm Chura on the 65. Matt Zalai battling along.
Ventura followed by the 370 of Mount Zelai. Those are your top two in your IFS 340X Pro Stock 440 final. This time around, the white flag will be displayed, indicating one lap to go. White flag, one to go. Tyson Bizdell on the 5-1-1, occupying the third spot. Tyson is out of an Ola Manitoba, riding a good looking 78 moto ski. Daryl Kaltoff is out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. 153 kilometers per hour. Checkered flag for the 65. Norm Chur is going to win it, followed by Max Zalai. And the 5 11 of Tyson Bizdell. Well, that'll do it. We're going to take a Quebec's intermission break. Get on over to the beer garden, get yourself a nice cold beer, and grab your full line of CPTC promo wear just in time for Christmas. This will be our final day before Christmas here. Don't forget we're back March 7th and 8th, but if you're looking for Christmas gifts, get on over to the beer garden and grab the CPTC promo wear before it gets sold out. Here we go with race number 25, Sport Formula 500 final. Riding number 29 is Ashton Christensen. The 334 is Dalton Fredrickson. He's in the right place this time. The 113A is Aaron Davey. The 964 is Colton Graber. Riding the 13 is Kieran Lowe. And the 223 is Adam Braun. The 965, Austin Graber. Tom Fieldback is on the 54. John Bradner is on the 2B. And Harley and here we go, we are racing. Seven lap, Sport Formula 500 final. Look at a bow. Green flag being displayed, the 334 and the 964 lead this one. Number 29 of Ashton Christensen is third. Great racing in the top five here in the Sport Formula 500 final. Look at the battle up front. They are getting at it, wow. Rider pulling off the track and into the pit area off turn number two as the race continues under green. Look at the 964. Colton Graber on the 964 out of Clear Lake, Minnesota. That is a 89 Polaris. And that sled is flying. 137 kilometers per hour, about 83 miles an hour. Here comes your leaders. 334, Dalton Fredrickson is your leader, holding off the 964 of Colton Graber. What a great race that has been. You could put a blanket over there, too. And look at that on the inside now. The 964 battling back Colton Graber from Clear Lake, Minnesota, assumes the lead. This is going to be a fight to the finish. What a race. Race 25 on your schedule, the Sport Formula 500 final. White flag coming out. Six laps are done, one to go. Colton Graber. 
is your leader, followed by the 3-3-4 of Dalton Fredrickson. Fredrickson out of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Your winner, Colton Graber, followed by Fredrickson and the 965 of Austin Graber. Those are your top three. 113 comes across the line. Aaron Davey in fourth, fifth, the 29. That is Ashton Christensen out of Luck, Wisconsin. 223, Adam Braun for sixth spot. He is from Winnipeg. Then the 2B, that is Dylan Bradner from Medford, Wisconsin. That'll do it for race 25. Sport Formula 500 final. Good battle. All right, next up, your Pro Champ 440s. Round four, heat one for five laps. And aboard the number 88 is Brennan Boxall from Warman, Saskatchewan. He is riding a 2014 Wall Brothers racing chassis. And the eight out of Gautner, Manitoba, local rider Travis McDonald on a skidoo sponsored by XPS Lubricants and Ryback Custom Machine. On the 102, what a weekend he's having on the Wall Brothers Racing, Jimmy Johns Polaris. This is the 102 of Blaine Stevenson, an Eagle River World Champion. The 220 is G Money, Gunnar Stern, a guy that has won three TLR Cup Championships, one here at the Canadian Power Toboggan Championships, and still looks for his first win at the Eagle River World Championships. Gunnar Stern out of West Chicago on the 220. Riding number 10 is Stephen Mankey out of Lodi, Wisconsin on a 2019 Skidoo. And Tom Olson is on the Wall Brothers Racing number 39 out of Greenbush, Minnesota. This is a 2020 Polaris Wall chassis. The 39 Tom Olson starting outside in race 26. Your Pro Champ 440 round four heat one race. But before we do that, we've got to clean up in turn number one. Our safety crew is over there getting things put back together. So race 26 is Pro Champ, that is coming up. Race 27, another Pro Champ race. Race 28, Junior 2 F500 class. 29 is the ATV Open Final. Race 30, the Formula 3 race for three laps. Then five laps for race 31, the Pro Formula 500 B Main. And race 32, Superstock 250, 300 and 340 fan. All right, looks like the mess in turn one is cleaned up. So we will get on with our next race. We've been through the lineup, race 26 on your schedule. Pro Champ 440s. Lots of changes, of course, to those sleds. No more titanium and carbon fiber in the track, saving a significant amount of money, like lots and lots, especially Canadian money. Weight has changed from 375 to 400 pounds, so they're getting a little chubbier, those sleds, 25 pounds heavier, eight inch carbide allowed on the inside, and the electronic traction devices are gone. Here they come for race 26.
right, here we go. Pro Champ 440, round four, heat number one. Five laps is the distance. Brennan Boxall on the inside, the 10 on the outside. Stephen Mankey out of Lodi, Wisconsin. Lots of fast riders in between the inside and the outside, and the 88 jumps. We're going to try this one again. So it looks like the 88 will start in roll number two as a result of the jump start. the 220 and the 102 of Blaine Stevenson battle side by side but Stevenson once again comes out on top what a weekend he's having on the Jimmy Johns Polaris Wall Brothers Racing 102 he is flying into turn number three and four G Money Gunner Stern out of West Chicago Illinois on the 220 Tom Olson on the 39 Travis McDonald on the 8 that is your top four here five laps here in your Race 26 Pro Champ 440 event. Wow, does Stevenson have some speed here this weekend? Tom Olson, similarly, on the Wall Brothers Racing number 39, challenging Gunnar Stern on the 220. Travis McDonald, uh oh, Stern appears to be slowing. He loses two spots in turn three. Not sure what happened to Gunnar Stern, but he has dropped the fourth spot. Travis McDonald, lots of straightaway speed. Let's see if he can make it up on the 39 of Tom Olsen in turn three. White flag for Blaine Stevenson, he is gone. Look at the lead for Blaine Stevenson. What a ride. Checkers for the 102, the freaky fast Jimmy Johns. 102 is the winner, second. Wall Brothers Racing 39, third, Travis McDonald, Gunnar Stern coming home in the fourth spot. Fifth is the 10 of Stephen Mankey. What a race once again for the 102 of Blaine Stevenson. Out of Hutchinson, Minnesota, the sled out of the Wall Brothers Racing Camp in Greenbush, Minnesota. Also sponsored by FXR and Polaris. That'll do it for race 26. On now to race 27, another Pro Champ heat race for five laps. The H2O is going to be Christopher Huther out of Medford, Wisconsin. He rides a 2010 Skidoo. And on the 7NY, the wild child, Nick Lagoy out of Morrisonville, New York, riding for the first time ever on Articat, a 2020 Articat for the 7NY of Nick Lagoy. He is sponsored by Lagoy Automotive, Peru Farm Center, and Northline Utilities, intending to run a mixed schedule this year of all kinds of races including F3. Riding the number 13, a 25 year racing veteran in his final year of racing. He is out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin on the 2019 FXR Amsoil Polaris. This is Nick Van Strydonk. And on the one from Hartford, Wisconsin, riding a 2019 Articat, the rider is Griffin Leepak. And the 115, all the way from Cedarburg, Wisconsin, this is Dylan Anagastopoulos. Dylan Anagastopoulos on the 115. We could be short some. 
Looks like Dylan and Nick Legoy are out of this one. Full shot for the 13. Nick Van Strydonk jumps out to the lead on the Polaris FXR Amsoil Earth Sales and Service number 13. Nick Van Strydonk won the 2012 and 17 Eagle River World Championships. He is the 2009 and 2012 Canadian Power Toboggan Champion right here in Bozager. He will run the F3 class this year as well. Sponsored by FXR, Incredible Bank, Polaris, and Amsoil. What a career he has had. Nick Van Strydonk out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. Started racing kitty cats at age four. He is now 29. So 25 years later, he is in his final year of ice oval racing. 159 kilometers per hour, about 96 miles an hour. Griffin Leepak is on the one. He is second, but a distant second. White flag coming out. Less than a lap for Nick Van Strydonk on the Polaris FXR Amsoil entry. He's gonna win this one going away. No trouble for the 13 in that one. Griffin Leepak on the number one out of Hartford, Wisconsin, riding the 19 Arctic Cat to the second spot. And the H2O is Chris Huther out of Medford, Wisconsin, finishing third. Next up, race 28, your Junior 2 F500 class for 14 to 17 year olds. This will be the final for five laps. And here's how they line up. The 85 is gonna be Brett Borchard out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. The number 29 is Ashton Christensen from Luck, Wisconsin. Riding out of Tyndall, Manitoba on an 89 Polaris. The 53 is Emily Stevens. We understand it will be possibly scratched, so good chance the 53 of Emily Stevens will not appear in this one. The 158 is Hunter Van Ryan out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. The 148 is Harley Ehlers from Medford, Wisconsin. Jesse Pescatelli rides the 829 from Lebo, Manitoba. On the 113 is Hanna Westland from Strathcona. The 434 is Miranda Peterson from Lancaster. And the 685 is Tanner Davey from Badger, Minnesota. This is race 28 on your schedule. Junior 2 F500 for 14 to 17 year olds. This is the final. Five laps is the distance. Getting set to go racing. Heading down the back straightaway here in race 28, the Junior 2 F500 class for 14 to 17 year olds. It's close in the top five here as they head on through turn three and four. One nine, one fifty-eight, and the 148 are your top three. Ashton Christensen out of Luck, Wisconsin. 89 Polaris mounted rider. Being challenged now for the lead, but gets it back into turn number three.
134 kilometers per hour, about 80 miles an hour on the previous lap. Great battle, here comes the number 113. Hanna Westland is on the 113. White flag coming out this time around in race number 28. The 158 is Hunter Van Rien out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. Who heads up in turn one and two? Look at this battle now. Kendra Westland on the outside of the 29. Rather, Hanna Westland. That's Kendra's sled. But we believe it is Hanna Westland aboard the 113. Here's the race to the checkered flag. It's going to be. I believe the 29 of Ashton Christensen out of Luck, Wisconsin. Narrowly edging out Hanna Westland on the 113H from Strathcona, Minnesota. Sexton, Stephen Weed trying to pass the number 34 in turn one and two. That second place ATV has lots of speed on the straightaways. Mark Sexton, the leader, followed by the 215 of Stefan Weed. 13 is third, Cody Median out of Marshan, Manitoba. Those are your top three thus far, but right now, Sexton not being challenged.
Mark Sexton continues to pull away for the 215 of Stefan Weebun of Woodlands. Coming to the conclusion of this race, just a handful of laps remaining. We are on race 29 on your schedule of 41 on the day. This is your ATV Open Final with the white flag coming out next time around. Mark Sexton continuing to lead this one. Sexton by a long shot in that one. Mark Sexton out of Lorette, Manitoba. Writing a 2015 Can-Am will be the winner in that one. Great job. Got the whole shot and never looked back with Mark Sexton on the 34, so he will win race 29, your ATV Open Final. All right, coming up next, race number 30 on the schedule, the all-new Formula 3 class for 2020. This will be just three laps. Gunnar Stern will be on the 220, Tom Olsen on the 39, Wall Brothers Racing 39, 2020 Polaris, and Nick Van Strydonk will ride the number 13. Nick Van Strydonk on the 13 out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. Just recently won a Pro Champ heat race. This Formula 3 class will be all new. Said to be the 2021 Eagle River World Championship race. This will be the class F3 in 2021. We start with a stock chassis, basically a snow cross chassis that you can buy in your dealership. You can change to an oval skid and different A-arms, some front end parts. 600 stock engine with no modifications allowed. Eight inches of carbide only and no titanium allowed on these sleds whatsoever. Tough start for the 13, but the 220 wasting no time. G-Bunny Gunnar Stern, three-time CLR Cup champion, is battling down the back shoot now.
All right, looking things over on the starting line is our head flag man, Riley. Looks like Jordan Sobetsky's gonna have to go to the pit area. I'm not sure if his race receiver is working. Well, four out of the five will qualify, but now there's four left, so I would assume everybody here is gonna qualify, providing they finish. Pro Formula 500 B main. Here we go. Looks like the 113 on the inside with the whole shot, Aaron Davey from Middle River, Minnesota, not far from Greenbush and Thief River Falls. Brian Healy on the 48 assumes the lead into turn number three. Brian Healy has been fast this weekend in the Pro Formula 500 class. Brian Healy on the 48 is out of Lorette, Manitoba and rides a 1990 Polaris. second spot. If all finish, all will qualify to the B main. 136 kilometers an hour and two wide down the back straightaway. Well, Brian Healy's got the field figured out here. Brian out of Lorette, Manitoba. Around to take the white flag, indicating one more lap to go. Don't forget, four qualified to the main event in this class. Four are still on the racetrack. So if all finish, all will qualify. One more race after this before a Cubex intermission grooming break. That'll be race 32, the Superstock 250, 300, and 340 fan final. As the 48 takes the win, the page on the 95, the 113 finishing up as well, Aaron Davies, so all will qualify. That'll do it for the B main, we're done. All right, here we go, race 32, Superstock 250, 300, 340 fan final.
Curry, number 15, staring at the checkers and will take them back to North Dakota. Sheldon Carlson, number 15, takes the win. And second place now coming out of turn number four. And second place will go to the number 13 of John Hall from Bozizier on the 1976 Polaris. All right, time to visit the beer garden. Grab your CPTC promo wear and a nice cold one. We're gonna take a Cubex grooming break and be back with race 33, the Formula 3 500 final. We'll be back momentarily here in Bozizier. All right, back to race action here at the CPTC Raceplex. Race 33, the Formula 3 final for five laps. Gunnar Stern on the 220. The 13 is Nick Van Strydonk out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. And the 39 is the Wall Brothers racing entry of Tom Olson. Hey, we wanna say a special shout out to Reed Baker, the president of the CPTC. And wife Alana, they are celebrating the birth of a beautiful baby daughter. That happened on Friday. Ellie Rhea Baker, born on Friday. So hello to Reed and Alana. I know you're cuddled up at the hospital watching the internet broadcast. So hello, I hope you're all doing well and congratulations. That's pretty cool. Here we go with the F3 final. These ones said to be the 2021 Eagle River World Championship class. Looks like G Money Gunner Stern with the early hole shot. Gunner Stern leading into turn three and four. This race 33 is five laps. Stern's got the Red Bulls to do, figure it out. Tom Olson is on the 39, sponsored by Jimmy Johns, Polaris, and FXR, along with Wall Brothers Racing. 160 kilometers per hour. These F3 sleds are based off a stock chassis. Use an oval track skid and different Aons on the front. 600 cc engine with no modifications, eight inches of carbide on the inside, and no titanium allowed absolutely anywhere. You can't have titanium on these new F3 sleds. Gunnar Stern is pulling away from the field. Couple of Polaris mounted riders, second and third in turn three and four. Gunnar Stern already at the flag stand on the Red Bull Skidoo, number 220. He is the leader. White flag is out, less than a lap to go for G Money Gunnar Stern out of West Chicago, Illinois. Good racing into turn number three and four. The leader out of four now, checkered flag for Gunnar Stern in the F3 class. Second spot to Olsen and Van Strydonk on the number 13, sponsored by Amsoil, will finish third. That was your Formula 3 final for five laps. Gunnar Stern, Tom Olsen, and Nick Van Strydonk, one, two, three in that all new class for 2020. Race 34 coming up, Sportsman 600 final for seven laps. We'll have that line up momentarily. And here it is. 16, DJ Saluk is out of Beaujeur, the 39. From West Pine Ridge, Manitoba is Brett Fielback. Riding the 72 from Humboldt, Minnesota is Ryan Fleeshacker. The 23 is Will Manchalenko. The 26 is Quinn Whitechuck. Riding the three is Shane Wagner out of Prada. The 223 is Adam Braun. The 13 is John Hall. 
And the 116 is John Zielinski from Winnipeg. He may be a scratch. And Jonathan Hall a scratch. Scratch the two bottom riders, the 13 of John Hall and the 116 of Zielinski. All right, here comes DJ Saluk on the 16. Always a strong runner. Also strong, Brett Keel back out of West Pine Ridge, Manitoba. Starting line is Riley Baker, our official starter. He wins the green flag. DJ Saluk out of Bozizier gets the whole shot in turn number one and two. This is your Sportsman 600 final. Seven laps is the distance. Heads up, we got a crash in turn three and four, the sled into the bales. Looks like the rider into the bales as well, but the rider up on his knees and up on his feet, so that is good news. We'll need the track crew over to turn three and four for this crash in race 34, the Sportsman 600 final. We're gonna try this one one more time. Whoop, 72 jumps, that's fly shocker. That one was pretty obvious. Ryan Fleeshocker out of Humboldt, Minnesota. Going to need to start in row two now. <laughs> 16 of the 23 with great starts. At number 16, DJ Saluk takes another whole shot here and leads down the back shoot. He's got company as they head into turn number three. Six sleds remaining here in your Sportsman 600 final. Two scratches before the drop of the green and we lost another one on the first green. 39 is Brett Keel back out of West Pioneer. Dwight Chuck is on the 26 out of Bozizier. He is third, Quinn White Chuck is, on the 89 Polaris. Is Will Manchalenko out of St. Malo. 150 kilometers per hour, 90 miles an hour. Two is now third. That is. Ryan Fleeshacker, who had to start in the second row after a jump start, but has done a great job working his way back up to the third spot.
This race scheduled for seven laps. White flag coming out now. EJ Salute being pursued by the 39 of Brett Keelback from West Pine Ridge, Manitoba. Lee Shocker, White Chuck fourth. Really strung out on the racetrack in this one. Checkered flag is out. It'll be the 16 of DJ Salute, followed by Keelback on the 39. Brett Keelback will finish second unofficially in the Sportsman 600 final. Third to Flea Shocker, fourth to Quinn Whitechuck. That'll about do it for the Sportsman 600s. Next up, race 35, the Pro Formula 500 final, one of our most competitive classes. All right, race 35 lines up like this in the Pro Formula 500 race. This is the final for seven laps. The 334 is Dalton Fredrickson from Thief River Falls. He is on an 89 Arctic Cat. Riding the number 113 from Strathcona, Minnesota is Kendra Westland. The 96 is Bruce Rosentreader from Whitemouth. The 964 is Colton Graber. The 965 is Austin Graber. Both those riders out of Clear Lake, Minnesota both on Polaris's. The 87, also on a Polaris from Drayton, North Dakota, is Madison Phillips. Brian Healy rides the number 48, 1990 Polaris out of Lorette, Manitoba. Hailing from Marillo, Ontario on a 1989 Polaris, the number 95 is Jerry LePage. The 113 is Aaron Davey from Middle River, Minnesota. This is a 1990 Polaris Indy, and the 25 is rather 26 is Quinn Whitechuck out of Beaujolais, Manitoba. He is riding an 89 Polaris. Here they come out of staging for race 35, the Pro Formula 500 final. This ought to be a great one. All right, they're gonna get the signal and come to the line. Here they go. Fredrickson is your leader from Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Kendra Westland out of Strathcona, Minnesota is second on the 113. Good racing in the Pro Formula 500 final thus far. Seven laps the scheduled distance. Healy in the third spot on the 48, the 964. Colton Graber is fourth.
Looks like the 96 off the pace, Bruce Rosentretter out of Whitemouth, Manitoba. Still leading the 334, Dalton Fredrickson. One hundred forty-three kilometers per hour, about eighty-six miles per hour. Kendra Westland trying to reel in the leader here. Great racing for first and second, and then third and fourth. Westland edging up on the leader. What a race for first place. Look at the top four here, wow. White flag coming out, one to go in the Pro Formula 500 final. Peter Fredrickson, Westland, Healy, and the 964 of Graber. Those are your top four, and those are the four that are in contention right now for the win. Half a lap to go. Westland slowing just slightly. Healy gets by into the second spot. Fredrickson appears to slow a little bit but gets back on it, checkered flank is out, your winner is Fredrickson, Healy, Westland, and the 964 of Colton Graber in the top four. Fifth is the 87 unofficially, Madison Phillips out of Drayton. That'll do it for the Pro Formula 500 final. Seven laps was the distance, and it is now in the history books. Fredrickson with a big win in that one. Very, very competitive class. Four sleds could have won that one. Race 36 coming up, Pro Mod 340, Super Mod 340, and Super Stock 440 final. Four laps will be the distance, not three as indicated on your lineup sheet. Add the number 72 of Ryan Fleeshacker to this one. The 94B is Jesse Cipher on the 77 John Deere. Riding number 47 is Kirby Kaltoff. The number 65 is Norm Chura. He is from Enola. 71 and is Dylan Bradner out of Medford, Wisconsin. That is your lineup. Well, the 72, Ryan Fleeshacker. Good start on the outside, we believe. Getting set to go racing, race number 36. Pro Mod 340, Super Mod 340, and Super Stock 445. Start for the 47 of Kirby Kaltoff. He is gone. Racing out of turn four. This race scheduled for four laps. 
seven of the 65, one and two, the 94 B third, the 71 is fourth. Dylan Bradner in fourth. That rider out of Medford, Wisconsin on a 1975 Yamaha. Off the pace is Fleeshacker on the 72. White flag coming out this time around. Last lap. Kirby counts off out of Humboldt, Saskatchewan being pursued by Norm Shura. All right, getting ready to go with your next race. Race 37 on your card. Women's Formula 500 final for five laps. I'll have that line up for you momentarily. Brought to you by FXR, Moosehead, Twisted T, MacDon, and the Howland Hotel. All right, here we go. Women's Formula 500 final. The 113 is Kendra Westland. Riding the 87, Madison Phillips out of Drayton, North Dakota. Scratch the 55 of Emily Stevens and the 67 of Amber Stevens. Miranda Peterson should be on the 434. The 148 is Harley Ehlers out of Medford, Wisconsin. And the 113 is Hannah Westland out of Strathcona, Minnesota. That is your lineup for the Women's Formula 500 final. And we are racing. Madison Phillips on the 87 being pursued by the 113. That is Kendra Westland. Great race into turn three and four here in your women's Formula 500 final. Kendra Westland is the leader. Phillips second. This one's scheduled for five laps. Kendra Westland in a great big hurry. Third spot. It's the 113H. That's Hannah Westland out of Strathcona, Minnesota. So the Westlands first and third. Madison Phillips on the 87 second. Green flag being displayed by Riley Baker. As the leaders speed by the front straightaway flag stand.
137 kilometers per hour on the previous lap as the white flag comes out. One to go. Leaders working through turn one and two, or rather three and four now, approaching the checkered flag. And your winner is gonna be Kendra Westland, second spot for Madison Phillips out of Drayton, North Dakota. Another great run by Kendra Westland, the native of Strathcona, Minnesota on the 92 Polaris, getting the job done. Anna Westland on the 113, also out of Strathcona, 148. Harley Ehlers and Miranda Peterson on the 434 round out the field. Miranda is out of Lancaster, Minnesota, riding a 1989 GPR chassis. That was race 37. Race 38 coming up next. Junior one stock 380 for 10 to 12 year old. The final, just three laps. Race 38 has the 23 of Dylan Fox up against the 59 of Hunter Johnson out of Drayton, North Dakota. Dylan Fox on the 23 from Balmoral, Manitoba. Hunter Johnson on the 59 from Drayton, North Dakota, riding a 97 Skidoo. So a two sled race for race 38. We have a total of 41 races on the day. So after race 40, we will take a Cubex intermission grooming break and come back with race 41. Your 41st and final race of the day will be the Pro Champ 440 final for 10 laps. And here we go, we're racing. All right, race 38 on the track, Junior One Stock 380. 23 Dylan Fox and the 59 Hunter Johnson duking it out out there. <laughs> 23 is the leader, Dylan Fox out of Balmoral, Manitoba taking the white flag, one to go. Race 39 coming up next, Junior Two Sprint 380. For 14 to 17 year olds, that one will be five laps. Hundred and ten kilometers per hour, sixty-six miles an hour on the previous lap. As your leader comes through turn four now to take the checkered flag. Dylan Fox is gonna take checkers, followed by the 59 of Hunter Johnson out of Drayton, North Dakota. That'll do it for race 38. Your junior one stock 380 for 10 to 12 year old final. Next up race 39, junior two sprint 380, 14 to 17 year olds. Race 39 coming up, Junior 2 Sprint 380, class for 14 to 17 year olds. This is the final, five laps is the distance. 29 is Ashton Christensen out of Luck, Wisconsin. And on the number 30 is Jocelyn Rathke out of Wausau, Wisconsin. The 158 is Hunter Van Rien out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. 
The 199 is the Egg Farms entry out of Greenbush. This is Lawrence Egg. And the 434 is Miranda Peterson from Lancaster. She is a scratch indeed, the 434. Scratch the 434 of Miranda Peterson. Once again, thanks to the RM of Broken Head and the town of Beaujeu for their generous support. We get to go racing in race 39, the Junior 2 Sprint 380 class for 14 to 17 years. Ashton Christensen out of Luck, Wisconsin, working on the racetrack. That is the number 29. This race originally scheduled with five riders, now down to four with the scratch of Miranda Peterson from Lancaster, Minnesota on the 434. The leader is the 158. Hunter Van Rien out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin. Second spot to 29, Ashton Christensen. The number 30 is Jocelyn Rafke. Lawrence Egg is on the 199 out of Greenbush. Ashton Christensen trying to close the gap up on the leader. One hundred thirty seven kilometers per hour. Twenty nine is on the move. Ashton Christensen out of Luck, Wisconsin makes the pass in turn number three. White flag coming out, just one to go. That is now the 29 and the 158, followed by the 30 of Jocelyn Rafke and the 199 of Lawrence Hay. And checkered flag is out. Your winner, the number 29 of Ashton Christensen. Second of the 158 of Hunter Van Ryan. Jocelyn Rafke, third on the 30 and fourth is Lawrence Egg. The Egg Farms 199 out of Greenbush will finish fourth. Race number 40 coming up. Total of three competitors. In the IFS 440X final, five laps will be the distance. Matt Zalai will be on the 370. The 21 is Tyler Obi. 511 is Tyson Buzdell. All right, all three competitors coming out of the pit area now for your IFS 440X final. Matt Zalai on the 370, Tyson Buzdell on the 511, and Tyler Obi out of Bozizier on the number 21. These guys do a lot of racing together. Set to go racing IFS 440X style. Here we go. That's a lot with the whole shot. Tyler OB 
Kirby tries on the 370, but can't make the pass. This is your IFS 440X final. Tyler will be on the outside. Tyson Buzdell in the third spot. Not in contention so far, but take a look at Tyler Obi on the inside of Matt Zalai now. Tyler Obi on the skidoo is your leader. Tyler Obi out of Bozeger on a 1979 skidoo gets by the 81 moto ski of Matt Zalai, the number 370. Tyson Buzdell in third out of Anola on a 78 moto ski. 157 kilometers per hour in the IFS 440X class. White flag gonna be displayed this time around, indicating one lap to go in the IFS 440X final. Great race, and Matt Zalai and Tyler Obi continue to duke it out on the last lap. Here comes the 370 on the inside, and he's got the 21. Great pass at the exit of turn number two. Into turn three they go now. Matt Zalai is on the inside of the racetrack. Tyler Obi gonna take another shot here as they come to the checkered flag, and Riley Baker for the 370, taking out the 21 of Tyler Obi. Tyson Vizdell finishes third on the 5-1-1. Good finish in the IFS 440X final. And now, time for a Cubex grooming break. All right, here's your lineup for the 41st and final race of the day, the Pro Champ 440 final. 10 laps will be the distance. Aboard the 102, sponsored by Wall Brothers Racing out of Greenbush, Minnesota. Also, Jimmy Johns and FXR, the 2020 Polaris Wall Chassis. The rider on the 102 is Blaine Stevenson. And on the number 13 out of Tomahawk, Wisconsin, a two-time Eagle River champion, two-time CPTC champion. Aboard the 2019 Polaris, this is Nick Van Strydonk. And on the number eight, he's been fast all weekend out of Goner, Manitoba, the Ryback Custom Machine. XPS Lubricants number eight is Travis McDonald. And out of Greenbush, Minnesota on the 2020 Polaris Wall Chassis, sponsored by Jimmy Johns and FXR, this is Tom Olson on the 39. And out of Hartford, Wisconsin, the 2019 Articat, number one is Griffin Leepak. And a three-time TLR Cup champion, three-time CPTC champion. Out of West Chicago, Illinois, he rides the Red Bull Skidoo. The number 220 is G-Money, Gunnar Stern. And on the 7NY, the Wild Child, out of New York for the first time this weekend on an Articat, the 7NY is Nick Lagoy. And out of Cedarburg, Wisconsin, a 2020 Arians chassis, the 115 is Dylan Anagostopoulos. And the number 10 out of Lodi, Wisconsin, a 2019 Skidoo. This is Stephen Mankey. And rounding out the field, the H2O is Chris Huther out of Medford, Wisconsin. All right, a couple of scratches. Dylan Anagostopoulos and Chris Huther out of Medford, Wisconsin, scratch from this Pro Champ 440 final. Who's ready for your Pro Champ final? All right, 102 on the pole. The Law Brothers Racing 102 getting set. This is gonna be a good one. The best ice oval racers in the world right here for a 10 lap shootout. Pro Champ 440 final, 10 laps is the distance. Our official starter, Riley Baker, whoa, ho, ho. good balance. Almost goes down the ice and here we go.
Great racing down the back straightaway. Nice clean start for the Pro Champ 440 final. Already one lap down, nine to go. Your leader, the 102, followed by the 39. That is Tom Olson, Wall Brothers Racing 1 and 2 right now. Jimmy Johns, Polaris, FXR sponsored 102. Great racing for second, third, and fourth in the Pro Champ 440 final. Van Strydonk being pursued by the number eight of Travis McDonald. Van Strydonk in the third spot, challenging the 39 of Tom Olson on the back shoot. Olsen on the Wall Brothers Racing, number 39. What a great ride by the 102 of Blaine Stevenson. That rider out of Hutchinson, Minnesota. The sled out of the Wall Brothers Racing camp in Greenbush, Minnesota. Sponsored by Polaris, Wall Brothers Racing, and FXR. Along with Jimmy Johns. Cross flags, five down, five to go for Blaine Stevenson. Travis McDonald and the XPS Lubricants number eight now in the third spot. As he gives chase, McDonald has had some great straightaway speed here today. And you can see that going into turn number three. Travis McDonald might have a shot at the 39 here. Let's watch. Best race in the place for second and third as the 102 of Blaine Stevenson has checked out. Travis McDonald on the inside of the 39 and Travis has the second spot. A great job by Blaine Stevenson. He is riding away. Lane Stevenson with almost a full straightaway lead. Travis McDonald second, Tom Olson, then Van Strydonk. Van Strydonk is pushing hard here as he takes that Polaris right up on the back of the 39 of Tom Olson. One to go for the 102. Wayne Stevenson absolutely on fire here. to the Jimmy Johns 102 of Blaine Stevenson, unofficially your winner in the Pro Champ 440 final. Travis McDonald, Olsen, Stan Strydonk, and Gunnar Stern fifth here in December on Sunday. The wild child Nick Lagoy brings the 2020 Articat number seven across the line, but what can you say about the Eagle River World Champion Blaine Stevenson on the Wall Brothers FXR Jimmy Johns 102? He checked out on the field. He has been extremely strong all weekend long, and what a ride for the 102 of Blaine Stevenson. Off like a shot. Well, that will do it, of course, for race number 41. We want to thank everybody for coming out this weekend to Beaujolais. Don't forget to log on to the website for updates throughout the winter months. We're back here March 7th and 8th for the Canadian Power Toboggan Championships.